Well, it comes down to a simple, a simple word. It's instant. Anybody who needed instant results. Dr. Land and his daughter Jennifer were walking through the streets of Santa Fe, and uh, Dr. Land was taking photographs, and his daughter said, why can't I see the pictures now, Daddy? And he's like, oh, why can't we? I used to direct a museum in Lausanne, Switzerland. I organized an exhibition called Polaroid in Peril, and I found something extraordinary. I found people reacted to it emotionally in a very intense way. People brought me photographs, actually, brought me Polaroids to show me. And I was very moved by this. And so I said to my colleague, Todd Brando, I think it's gonna make a fantastic show, but let's do a really big one. And let's bring in Barbara Hitchcock. My name is Barbara Hitchcock. I worked for Polaroid for 39 years. I had a call from Bill Ewing, who was very interested in um, doing an exhibition of Polaroid photography. We wanted to get an overview, do an exhibition which celebrated the intersection of art and technology. Initially, when we started talking about this exhibition, we, we made a list, wish list, you know, which was, of course, impossible. It was like 300 names. We really tried to look at what we really loved and what we could get our hands on. <laughs> Polaroid photography was primarily broadcast as something that was a consumer product for the birthday, for the graduation. But other people would take that same camera and film and they'd have a whole different way of looking at the world that was so expressive about who they were, uh, who they are, and that it opens up a whole new world for people to see. And Polaroid, because it was a company that was based upon innovation and creativity, said, OK, this is what we want to see. We really, really, really would love to see how far artists can push our product. And somebody would say, gosh, I had no idea you could do that with Polaroid materials. And if truth be told, Polaroid really is an American story. And so the Amon Carter means, means something to us just on that symbolic level. Dr. Land was walking through one of these spaces and he reached into his raincoat and he picked out his wallet and he said, in our future, we are going to be taking pictures with a device that's about this size and everybody will be able to see it. And, and that is a goal. So they were there, they were there. I hope that when people see this exhibition, they will see how creative many, many people are. It really was a source of communicating and bringing people together. And I, I think that was something that was really important to the company and to land. He believed that there's a creative streak in every human being. And if you give them the technology to make something creative without a lot of technological hassle, that you bring something to a photograph that was very personal and important to you.